Create problems and then create solutions. Create a problem for somebody and then be the superhero when you create the solution. How good can you look if you invent a problem but then come up with a perfect solution for it? Sound familiar? Maybe not. Maybe you know what I'm talking about. Maybe you don't. Maybe you don't realise that there are, um, there's corruption in the world and that governments have been creating imaginary problems and then creating fantastic solutions so that people love those governments. Maybe you get it, maybe you don't. But when you've been in the carnival space as long as I have, you know that the lies run deep. What am I pissed off about today? This development near where I work, it's, um, it's, it's seen as a, a carbon neutral development. Should we even be going for carbon zero? Should, you know, is that even something we need to be even aiming for? Should we be aiming for zero? And is it even possible? But this block of flats is achieving it for us. But that isn't even the thing that really pisses me off. What pisses me off the most is if you zoom in at the bottom of that, of the photo that I've put up there now, I see this every day and I'm, yeah, already my cortisol's up before I even get to work. It says a development, it says something along the lines of a development for people know how to live. Because if you live anywhere else like this, or perhaps, this or maybe you've chosen to live here or maybe this is your dream if you've chosen any of those things for your life and your existence you don't know how to live you don't know how to live because this development is for people that have chosen and that they know how to live they know that they only want to live and stay in the same place and never go anywhere because this, these new flats are so amazingly perfect and carbon neutral that why would you want to go anywhere? You only want to go to the shop below the flat. You only want to go to the cafe opposite. I mean, they've provided some wonderful new sockets for people that buy electric cars, but why would you even want to do that? Why would you ever, ever even want to go anywhere when you could live here? with traffic going past all the time, because this is how people have chosen to live and they know how to live. No, I haven't chosen that. I don't choose it. In a 15 minute city, I don't want to have CCTV cameras on me all the time. I don't want my car tracked every time I unplug it from the electric socket and track everywhere I go. I don't want to have to just go to one shop one library, one doctor's, one... Fa well, I'm not going to any doctor's, but that's beside the point. You know where I'm going. I don't want to be stuck in a... I mean, if you live somewhere like this, you, it's not a 15-minute city, is it? It's like a five-second city. Everything I want right here. No desire to ever live like this or this or this. I just want to be... I want people to be jealous of me because I'm saving the planet. You're not. I know how to live. You don't. No. No. And if you buy a flat like this, I'm, I feel like you're going to regret it at some point. Maybe you won't. Maybe you love being controlled. Maybe you love not being able to go anywhere. Maybe you love the idea of just being trapped. And if you go anywhere further than where you're going where they say you should go, you know, you're not living the socially correct life. Yeah, that's all I want to say on that. I hate 15 minute cities and I hate five second cities, which this one clearly is. Very obvious. I hate the judgmental do good attitude of this. Never going to live anywhere like this ever. And places like this just make me want to go into the woods, light a little fossil fueled um, campfire and not talk to anyone <laughs> but that's not going to happen because I actually love humans really even if they're a little bit misled sometimes and if you and if you want to live in one of these concrete boxes and literally be tracked 
I mean, we're all tracked anyway, aren't we, with our smartwatches and our smartphones and everything else. I actually love to go somewhere really rural for the holiday, only spend cash and turn off all of the devices so that no one knows where we are. That's when I'm truly happy. You take care of yourself, eat your meat, drink your water and get some natural light. And um, if, you, <laughs> if you've got any sense, avoid these sort of places because it's not for anything good. It's just for profit. You take care. Bye.